Hey guys, Mika here, and I have a beautiful, beautiful custom coal works tenor size ukulele. This ukulele was made here in Hawaii on the Big Island, and you know this ukulele is just beautiful. The curly coal that's on this instrument on the front, back and sides, um, paired really nicely with this curly mango rosette and binding on the top and back. Man, it's just really beautiful. And if I can take a moment to talk about this koa, you know, I really like curly koa because, especially curly koa that looks like this, because there's just so much going on in the grains and the color scheme, you know. So we have some orange here, we have a little tan lines here, uh, we have tan lines here. I mean, it's just kind of, there's just so much going on. There's orange lines, these black stripes right here, these black, like tiger stripes here it's book matched really nicely the green pattern is really fat but really consistent on the back here on the sides and then even here on the front just really nice and then i really like the the aesthetics of the curly mango here with the rosette and on the bindings uh the curl it's really curly so it kind of it really matches with the curliness of the coal wood but i just really like the color scheme the orange you know against like the kind of the whiter um, look with the mango and then we have this curly mango too here on this on the sides too of the fretboard and it's really nice you even have the the fret dots right here and then we have the pearl or abalone fret dots here and then the honu or the turtle in hawaiian as the headstocks this is the custom coal works turtle um curly koa headstock honduras mahogany or curly honduras mahogany here on the neck really nice it's this whole ukulele has a curly theme whether it's the mahogany the spalted mango or even the curly coal here on the back um, it looks really clean with the really shiny gold tuners here so you know it's a beautiful beautiful instrument and two more things about this ukulele there is a sound port here so you can hear exactly what if someone is sitting in front of you whatever they're hearing you kind of have a sneak peek of what they're hearing with the side port and then this ukulele also has gold fret markers on the ukulele i'm not sure if you can see it in the video but there are it's really gold it's really nice and this ukulele does come with a radius fretboard. And for me, I do like the radius fretboard. I think it does make a slight difference, but you know, when you're making those pesky bar chords, the, that slight curvature with the radius fretboard makes it easier to hold these kind of barred chords. So this ukulele has that. Now in terms of sound, the kind of strings that are on this ukulele, it's kind of like, like, a, like a gut type of string. So um, what it means is that you're kind of sacrificing that clarity and that articulation to get a much bigger, warmer sound for the instrument. So, um, you know, personally, these aren't like my favorite kind of strings, but if I were to have an ukulele where I wanted to strum a lot, like to me, this is better than like having fluorocarbon strings on it because you're gonna get a nice, big, warm sound. You're getting rid of that brightness to add more warmth, more depth to the sound of the ukulele. So, you know, if I strum like an F chord, so warm, big sound. And by eliminating that brightness or that, that highness off the top end, you know, you're not gonna have any punchiness, you're not gonna have any, you know, it's gonna just be super smooth like butter in terms of what you're hearing in sound. So you can hear on the A string that you don't hear too much punch or you don't really hear any punch at all. But again, when I hear it, hear the overall sound of this, you know, this F chord or this C chord, so warm, so easy to listen to. No harshness, no punchiness. Now, if you have nails like me, you can still get some clarity when you do finger style. But then right when you go back to strumming, to me, that's where it sounds best. It really, it really shines when you, when you strum on this instrument. So, here is a sound sample of me playing one of the most, probably the second most requested song in the world on the ukulele. Here is Brada Is's White Sandy Beach.
Okay, and for my strumming sound sample, I'm gonna play the number one most requested ukulele song in the world. Here is Brada Is Is, or the intro to Brada Is Is, Somewhere Over the Rainbow. <laughs> 